<clears throat> and what is up everyone welcome on this beautiful saturday evening what's popping what's going on tell me everything i want to know everything Uh, quickly, some uh, administration like usable, eh? What's going on? All right, Lazar at the gym on the bike. Amen. That's good news because I, I knew you were sick or something. I don't know. It's fine. It's good. It's amazing. Icebear, what is up? Tau Sif. What is up, man? GG. Good game. It is. It's a good game. It's always a good game here. All right. Today we're going to do something I like to do. And it's some exploration and experimentation. That's what drives us, right? That's... That's what you need to do from time to time, right? Doing these these projects. It does not matter if they are finished or not finished. It's just all about having um, having some some stuff going on, right? Some things to think about. What's good? What's wrong? It doesn't really matter. It's all about it's all about the perception of the seer, right? There is no such thing as good or bad. Of course, we can maybe 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 it is, but you know what I mean. Good or bad. It's all about the person that perceives it, right? Are you George St. Pierre? <laughs> hey, who knows? I'm not. Maybe I'm family. Who knows, man? I don't know. He will probably beat my ass. But hey. Because <laughs> you're the goat, thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Man, I feel everything kicking in. It's crazy. When I start the stream, everything kicks in, right? It's too warm here. I get the mic OCD, I get the anxiety kicking in, everything kicks in, it's so amazing, this feeling is so garbage, but still, you need to, you need to take it like a man and just go, man, it's crazy, oh man, alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna build a cache, <coughs> a cache or a, or a database, well, it's actually a key value store or something, which is what a cache, cache is, basically something like Redis, and um, we're gonna build, build that thing, we're not gonna use HTTP, we're gonna use TCP, we're gonna use our own protocol, we're gonna parse that stuff in. Uh, and then we're gonna make it distributed, what basically means we're gonna have a leader and some followers. And we're gonna distribute that stuff, of course, um, in a distributed system. You need to have some kind of a consensus to determine who is the leader, right? We're not gonna do this right now. Of course, we're gonna do some stuff, but uh, the actual consensus to determine who's the leader, which is very important because if you're, that's actually needed for a high, avail if you want to have a high available cluster, right? If your leader gets wrecked, smacked on the cheeks, you need to have a new leader. And who's going to determine that? Well, the consensus, right? Persistent on disk. No, it's not on disk. It's going to be all in memory, right? Keep it, <laughs> let's keep, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple, right? Uh, it's, it's just like, like I said, it's, 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 Hey, it's just a stream, so we can talk with each other, I can talk with the community, and we can do some stuff. Um, it doesn't really actually matter, right? And um, what you can pick up from it, you pick up. Wait, wait, I have a good quote. Let me quickly, let me quickly find this quote real quick. Damn. Shit. Where I'm gonna find this? It's a quote from Bruce Lee. Wait. And then I'm gonna start, I, I swear. Pinky, swear. <sighs> Wait, I'm gonna search for Bruce Lee here. Bruce Lee. But then, and the quote is: <laughs> "Absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, and what is essentially your own." Hey, and with this quote, we're gonna start off the stream. We're gonna kick off the show. We're gonna kick off the Netflix of programming. Oh uh, yeah! <coughs> All right. Is everything set? It's like always I, I think something that I forgot something, but it is what it is, man. All right, I already, I already made this project. Um, it's just a folder, right? Um, with a go mod in it. So we're gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call this uh, cache, right? So we're gonna have, you will see what's going on. 
You will see what's going on. Um, a cache. We're gonna make a new file. Let's call this cacher. Cacher go, and it's gonna be packet. Look at this, man. Can you imagine something else was in my clipboard? Can you imagine my Bitcoin private key was in my clipboard right now? <laughs> that would be that, that would be crazy. Uh, package. It's gonna be. Well, how is the phone, by the way? Package, package, package. What? Oh, uh, cash. Is it cash? It's package cash, right? So we're gonna say type uh, a cacher, which is gonna be an interface. Real quick. We're gonna speed. We're gonna try to speed code this real quick. So we're gonna say set. Um, we're gonna have a byte, a byte here, a byte there, key, value, and a TTL. It's gonna be a time duration, actually. Duration, and an adult, right? Then we're gonna have something like, um, uh, set, uh, a get, 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 of course. Get, it's gonna be a key, it's gonna be a byte, and we're gonna return a byte, and an adult. Actually, do we need this? Do we need this interface? Probably not, right? But hey, it's a good practice to do. It's a good practice to do, and I want to learn you good practices because there are already a lot of bad practices that I'm doing. So I need to compensate. So set get them. Probably gonna set, have a deleting here. Delete uh, based on the key, and we're gonna. We don't care. You could return actually the thing you deleted, but hey, uh, and maybe we're gonna have. Set, get, maybe a has, right? Do we has of half? Has key, I think it's good. I'm gonna be a bull, something like that, right? Boom, that's that's the cacher interface, right? Easy peasy. New file, then we're gonna actually do our implementation, which is gonna be a cache go. Uh, package, cache, right? I'm gonna do this quickly because the, the, the magic will happen in the TCP shenanigans in the server, right? So, we, But we first need the cache, of course, otherwise we cannot do things. <coughs> so we're gonna say cache is gonna be a structure. Uh, we're gonna have, uh, of course, a sync. I'm gonna call it a lock. Uh, sync. Mutex. Actually an RW mutex, to be honest. And then we're gonna have some data, which is gonna be a map uh, of... Uh, strings because we cannot have bytes to byte, right? I'm gonna make a new cache. It's gonna be a cache uh, like this. It's like some boilerplate, right? It's, it's easy. This was the easy part. So we're gonna return the cache. We're gonna say that the data is gonna be make me a map of string to bytes. Right, just like that. Let's open up the cacher. Here, like this. See, cache. I will uh, read chat from time to time. No worries at all. Set. Uh, key. Value. A byte. TTL. Time. Duration. Errors. Um... Uh, Lock. C lock. Lock. Uh, defer. C lock. Unlock. <coughs> now we're gonna say C data. Um, string. Key. It's gonna be value. Of course, there is no error for some reason. Get, get key, byte, TTL, we don't care, right? Uh, delete till this thing. And we're gonna say, it's gonna be a byte here. And an error. Meraba. I'm fine, man. How about you? Ibrahim Gumus. Um, oh man, we need this lock. Uh, we're gonna... R lock is that true? Yeah, we're gonna read, right? So if we wanna read, we're gonna R unlock. For some reason, I hate write unlock. It's it's just my my fingers. It just doesn't feel good. There are some words that just don't feel good to type. I don't know why. Um, and I'm creating these bad habits over time. 
that I cannot get rid of. It's so weird, like a client. If I need to type client, now it's good. But most of the time I type it like this and I cannot get rid of that. It's like a dyslectic disorder or something, I don't know. But I can live with it. Uh, so we're gonna do something like um, that the value on okay is gonna be C data of the string of the bytes. What's going on here? Of the key, I mean. Uh, and if that is not okay, I'm gonna return nil fmt error f. Uh, wait, my keyboard is broken. It's the Intel again. Wait, just a second here. US layout, that's what I want. Uh, error F, uh, key not found. Let's do a string key. Actually, it would be better that we say that the key is gonna be uh, just for, for performance issues because converting to a string, I don't know. We're gonna call this key string. It's gonna be string. Actually, it doesn't really matter because it's just an error, right? Uh, but hey, why not? Why not? Key str. Boom. Right? You're gonna return nothing, otherwise, actually, to be honest, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then we're gonna return the val and uh, no, right? Something like that. Of course, this is bad. Uh, okay, quickly, quickly, because this is actually the easy part, but we need to do it. We need, we need, we need, we need. Uh, let's copy this, paste it in once again. Oh, this has thing is so annoying. Uh, has key. Let's copy this actually like this. Boom, boom, boom. Paste it in. Um, let's join this. Let's do this. We don't have key string here, right? We don't. Man, this is like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm brainless typing this stuff out. Uh, has. We, we don't care. It's going to be a boolean. Just like that, right? And then delete, and then we are, oh, then this is done. I'm so happy. Um, delete. Actually, there's a problem. We need to have set with a TTL. We need to fix the TTL real quick. Uh, delete. Why is it, why should that return an error? If it not, not exist, maybe. Typo on the hash. Hash, yeah, 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 this, it is. Look at this. Thanks, thanks, um, Ibrahim. Thanks, man. Like I said, I'm trying to, to, to dumb this out like a maniac real quick because I know this is not the best thing. Um, uh, this is not the most inter interesting thing, but hey. Uh, delete. Um, need this. Copy it in, paste it in. The problem is we cannot actually... Um, we could say we could use has, but the problem is we're going to have a lock and a lock and we're going to... It's, it's problems, right? But hey, don't let's let's not be too 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 picky. We're gonna just do this uh, real quick, actually. Um, actually, do we care? To be honest, if we want to delete something and it's, it does not exist, then then hey, it's it's bad. It's no it's not our problem, for now. Actually, this should be a lock, right? It's not not reading. We're gonna delete this, right? I'm gonna say C data uh, string of the key. No. String key like this, right? How you became a master in Golang? Well, uh, Prasad Siam, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did this. And it's like everything in life, you become a master at your craft by putting in the hours. That's the only thing what it is, right? You could watch all these gurus on YouTube and it doesn't depend, it, it's the same thing with making money, it's the same thing with getting jacked, it's the same thing with finding a girlfriend or whatever, it's, it's or playing League of Legends or football or whatever thing. You get good at something, not by trying to find shortcuts because that's what you're probably doing, that's what everybody's doing, that's what I did before. And you're trying to find shortcuts, right? You wanna be good at something, you wanna make a lot of money, you wanna be a good programmer, you wanna be yada, 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 right? You wanna be everything at, at, at uh, you wanna be the best version of yourself. And what you're gonna do <coughs> is you're gonna find shortcuts. You're gonna try to find shortcuts. And then you go to YouTube, which is basically full of garbage, right? Full of garbage, most of the time. 
there are there are good good channels of course but let us let us say that 80 percent maybe uh 75 percent is complete garbage people trying to uh, give you shortcuts at complete if, at, at, at everything at how to be a fast typist how to be how to how to get t thousand subscribers in, in 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 a month how to make money with youtube how to do dropshipping how to do trading it's all bullshit right there is no such thing as a shortcut so how do you become a master at your craft it's just by opening by doing it doing it doing it doing it that's the the only thing i can i i can say to you i'm i'm so sorry that i cannot give you a hint it, it it is what it is and and i was just like you and it actually i'm 36 and it's only not so long ago that i realized that that i just need to you just need to put in the hours grind it out and call it a day all right um this is good this is good this is good this is good are we gonna test this probably not <laughs> we, we, of course we're gonna test it but like i said it's all about it's all about a new file the main go the pinnacle of programming in go package main right just like that uh main so this is basically where we're gonna boot up our server right uh actually to be honest i'm gonna make i'm gonna make a server here just like that so how do you structure a goline project well uh actually don't care the only reason why i made cash uh in its own package because i don't know i thought it it, it could make sense you could Basically, in, in these kind of applications, you could you could dump everything into into your main into your root folder, and uh, it's gonna be perfectly fine. It's gonna be perfectly fine. There's no shame. It's no bad. Like I said, some people will say it's bad. Some people will say it's good. It doesn't matter. If it makes sense for you, it does not need to make sense for anybody else. Uh, Sean, how? But how do we sync a distributed cache across multiple servers across regions? Well, that's what we're gonna try to do. So uh, we're gonna keep things very, very simple because it's gonna be. I was thinking, should I call this stream "Introduction to Distributed Systems"? And I think what's the best, coolest thing to do, and the most easiest thing to do in a distributed system, is is a is a, a DB or a key value store, some kind of some kind of Redis thing, right? And we're gonna start with a simple mechanic. To distribute to distribute uh, the the operations and all that stuff keep it very simple so you can because at the end at the end uh, like redis and all these clusters it's very simple but of course they add a lot of things on top and that and and, and that is making it complicated right but like i said i won the nobel prize for simplification and you need to start out simple and then make it more complex to keep your dopamine levels flowing and your reward system it's very important because if you're instantly going into something very complex you're probably gonna quit because it's sometimes it's, it's going to be a little bit too much and then you're fucked and then you quit right uh so yeah uh what is this this is a server do we need this uh not now right so we're gonna say uh type server it's gonna be a structure right we're gonna also have Server options. This is basically what I'm always doing. This is like rep repetitive things. Type server ops, which is going to be a structure. Uh, <coughs> we're going to have a listen adder, which is going to be a string. For now, we're going to say is leader, right? We're going to say is leader is going to be a boolean. Of course, is leader is going to be determined by, normally it should be determined by a consensus algorithm. Raft, Paxos, whatever, right? Something simple. I think Raft is getting used a lot, uh, I think in console or something. I'm not quite sure. Shoot me. Slap me or correct me. I think Raft is getting used. Um, yeah, just to determine the leader. And also, yeah, it, but let's make it simple. Server ops. Listen, Adder is leader. Do we need something else? I don't know. Uh, so we're going to say here. It's going to have server ops. Uh, what am I doing here? Server ops. Of course, we need a cacher, right? Um, cash, cashier, cash cashier, a cash cashier. Is that true? L look at this. This cash is getting uh, getting so this I cannot type it. It's crazy. So cash is gonna be a cash cashier. So we're gonna say new server real quick. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna say ser ops server ops C 
Casher, cash casher. Uh, casher. I'm gonna return the server, no errors. Uh, server. Server ops. Ops. Cash, C. What's going on? What's going on here with... Uh... Oh wait, what am I doing here? Cash, cash, actually. Interfaces, boys! Alright, new server, that's fine. Uh, let's open up a main here real quick. Boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna say S of server is going to be... What's going on here, man? Uh, new server. Of course, we're gonna have ops, which is gonna be... Server ops. Listen, adder. Um, 3000. Pinnacle of ports. Is leader. Sure. Sure. He's a leader. Ops. Uh, what are you gonna do? Something, something quick and dirty? Yeah, why not? Cash. New. New cash. I don't like that. I'm going back to cash real quick here. I'm gonna call this new cash new i think that's that makes more sense right uh server here boom boom and then we're going to say server start right so we're going to make the start function let me quickly jump to this chat because i see it <laughs> um do you want to use raft i don't know i don't know if you're going to get there you know you know how it's like i just want to spin up something to do right i'm gonna it's it's most of the streamers or uh, streaming games or something you just boot up call of duty and you play it right but uh, in my case, as a tech creator, right, I need to come up with these with these things. So I thought, let's make a distributed cache and see how far we can come. And if it's a series that is being liked, that's how I always uh, determine when I need to jump between new things is uh, I see the statistics, the analytics, right? So I stream it once, then I stream it twice, and then I see what's going on. Do people like it, yes or no, uh, based on the comments and all that stuff. And um, I try to, to, I don't know. But what I'm, what I'm planning to do is, uh, all these streams that I'm doing, is to make some of these more focused videos, like 15, 20, 30 minute videos, a video itself focused, going back to, for example, going back to something on a stream and implement something there, more focused, because I can imagine that sometimes a stream is, is getting ad abrupted by reading the chat, and that's why I also stream, right? I stream to interact with the community, right? And then I need... So, are we implementing Raft? Not sure. We will see how far we come. How do you handle TLS on everything? Just a proxy. I have no clue. I'm not going to lie. Uh, no clue, Jason. I'm so sorry. David, it would be great if you would have one episode of how to execute atomic transactions in Golang with multiple queries. Whew. Do you think I'm that smart? Man, this is crazy. Atomic transactions. Yeah, I can see what you mean. But that's already complex. Well, complex. It's already an advanced topic. Um, but you're right. We, sometimes we need to make, we need to do these these advanced topics. Sure. Cash cashers. Uh, yeah. Funk s um, servers. You will see. This is actually gonna be. It's, it's gonna be kind of kind of not too complicated, man. Um, actually, good for for also good for new or m intermediate developers. Want to learn going? It's a very nice exercise. Uh, start. <coughs> Are we gonna do something in start? No, probably not. Uh, we're gonna say LNR is going to be a net listen. We're gonna listen to TCP, and we're gonna listen to S listen adder. Right? If there is an error, um, we're gonna return the error. Probably something like that. I'm gonna make it an FMT thingy. I'm gonna say listen add or something. Wrap it in. Can I do this? Alright, we have this listener. Uh, then we're gonna block each. Actually what we're gonna do is FMT. Uh, we're gonna do we need a lock or something? Maybe we can. Uh server. 
starting on port percentage s actually we're gonna do it like this uh, i'm gonna make a new line i'm gonna say s listen address call it a day right then we're gonna say for right then we're gonna do com r is gonna be ln except like this then we're gonna say if r is not nil how can you not love Golang errors? People are complaining, but it's the best error handling ever. I'm not gonna lie. And people will say, no, it's not true. But I think it is. And maybe, like I said, maybe it's not the best, maybe it's not the worst. It's it's like, it's all the perception of the of, of, of the people, right? It depends. All right. So we have this connection here. Um... Wait, if there is an error in accept, we're gonna basically say FMT. Actually, maybe a log. Let's keep it consistent. Uh, println. Or printf, maybe. I'm gonna say uh, accept error percentage s new line r. And we're gonna continue here, right? Because if we basically break here, it's gonna break the accept loop and nobody can connect anymore. <coughs> Uh, the Rust, uh, let bro, I prefer Rust uh, error handling. Well, yeah, like I said, Rust error handling, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. It's, um, yeah, y y I need to agree, I need to agree. It's pattern matching, I love pattern matching. Of course, yeah. Some mechanics of Rust are good. Some mechanics of Rust are good. Some, but I think it's too big of, an, of a language, to be honest. For day-to-day -day jobs, right? For day-to-day -day jobs. Okay, so we have this con. What are we gonna do with this connection? We are going to handle the connection into an other Go routine. So we're gonna say S server. Uh, handle con maybe. Handle con, why not? You could also call it the read loop. But I think handle con makes sense. Sometimes I use read, uh, read loop, sometimes I use handle con. It depends how I feel. So we're gonna handle this connection. Uh, it's not gonna return an error, right? Just like that. Um, go handle con here with this connection. I'm gonna call it a day, right? Then here, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna make a buffer. We're gonna call. We're gonna make uh, a buffer, basically a slice of bytes. And how big needs to be? It depends. Um, it depends. Actually, let's let's make it clean. It depends because if you have if you want to have big keys, uh, big keys or big values. But hey, 2048. We're not gonna store the whole fucking lorem ipsum, right? Um. So we're gonna basically keep this this connection open. Yeah, uh, Jason, uh, I like the way Go handles errors. Try catch in, yes, it's mad. Try catch is just so bad. It's, it's, I, don't, I have no clue who invented that thing. It's so fucking bad. It's, but like I said, some people maybe like it, but I, I don't like it, man. It's so bad. Throw and all that stuff. It's like, I, uh, uh, we're going to say NR is going to be, we're gonna read into this buffer. We will see what we're trying to do because we, we're gonna use a um, protocol over TCP just like Redis, right? Uh, some of these databases or key value store of caches are using HTTP, where you're using an H JSON HTTP to basically set, delete, and all, all that stuff to basically do the commands, right? I think it's too, sim well, it's too simple. I think it would be nice to, to uh, alter a little bit with our own protocol, very simple. Uh, just to just actually to show you guys in a very simplistic way how Redis works. Uh, how these protocols works under the hood they're using a tcp or udp or whatever connection and they just send plain bytes uh, in a in a kind of a format what you determine and then you're gonna parse that stuff right and of course i was thinking we have this one port open do we need two ports open right maybe we need two ports open uh, a listener for the commands and a listener for joining the for joining for joining the cluster Right, but you could also use one port and then, for example, use a join command instead of a set get or something. Hey, like I said, is this gonna be the best thing? Probably not, but it's just like exploration and let our creativity um, 
go. Um, if this is an Erosh, what we're gonna do here actually uh, is also a decision we need to make. Um, what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna we're gonna call read Erosh. Come read Erosh. The problem is, uh, what are we gonna do with the connection? We're gonna break here, right? So then we need to clean up this thing. Uh, are we going to do a defer funk here? Why not? Don't don't we need to put the con in here? Hmm. This time it, it doesn't probably. It's good. Um. Let me gonna say. I've let's let's do it like this and. By the way, Anthony, I want to ask a fun question. What's your favorite HTTP framework for Go? <laughs> for Golang. Uh, hey, what's my favorite? I don't know, man. I like to use Echo, Labstack Echo. Labstack Echo, Echo Framework. I don't know why. I just, I just came came across this a long, 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 long time ago. Years, years, and years, and years ago, I came across this, and it should be the fastest. I'm not quite sure. Everybody's trying to be faster and faster. Uh, but I'm, I'm still using that. And of course, I have my own Weavebox thingy, which you should never use, right? It's it's not getting maintained. It's it works. It's it works fine. It works actually. It, it works amazing. Uh, after after seven years, it's still one of the best. Can you imagine that? But uh, I would prefer to use something like you could even use Fiber. Man, I don't. I, it doesn't matter, guys. As long as you don't use Gin. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Handle com. Yes, 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 that's fine. So we have a server here, we're gonna s server start. Can you guys see this? Yes, yes. Skibidi bap bap. Go run main go. We don't have a make file here. Undefined server ops, what's going on here? Ah, I see what's going on. Um, we are in big trouble. We need a make file here for some reason. Uh, What's going on here, Anthony? Can you please do some good stuff? Go. It's gonna be Ben. I'm gonna call it GG Cash. Uh, run. Alright. So we're starting at port 3000. Perfect. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna make a simple client. How are we gonna do this? Um, I think we're gonna do it here in a GoFunk, because otherwise, you will see why. So we're gonna do a connection, uh, error is gonna be net dial. Just for testing, just for testing, this is just for testing. Net dial, we're gonna dial TCP, of course, TCP, TPC, TC me. Uh, it's gonna be this this 3000 thingy, right? This is our our, our, our notes. Um, if R. I'm gonna log fatal out here, right? We don't care. Then well, we're gonna say. Actually, we're gonna time sleep here. Oh, we also need to do our TTL. I forgot. Uh, time sleep time second. We're gonna sleep one second. Times two, two seconds. <laughs> ah. I'm currently working with Jin. Yeah, you need you need you need to get rid of this thing. Uh, and with get rid, I mean right now. Right? I, I give you permission to leave the stream or leave it open. But in the meantime, you're gonna listen to me uh, doing stuff here. But you're gonna basically refactor your whole application and delete that thing. Right? Uh, it's just so bad. And every yeah, I'm so sorry, man. It is. Uh, it's so slow, it's bad, reflection, it's it's just completely not what Go is, right? Um, and normally it doesn't really... Like I said, it doesn't really make... Uh, what's good, what's bad, right? It's, it's be, maybe what's good, what's bad is the... The thema, the theme of this stream. What's good, what's bad. But trust me, Jin is bad. And it's not bad because it's slow, but it's bad. Which is also bad, but it's bad because the way it's engineered, right? 
Uh, wait, what are we doing? We're gonna say com, and we're gonna write to this connection, and then we're gonna write something or protocol, right? So we're gonna say, for example, we're gonna say set, right? Set uh, foo to bar, right? And of course, the TTL maybe, something like that. The question rather is, um, let's do, because I'm not, not, not quite sure what the format is gonna be. Of this thing, uh, of, 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 of the duration, is it? I don't know, we will see. That's what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, that's what's gonna happen actually. And it's not working. Of course not, because we're not actually. Are we doing something? Uh, I cannot actually find what's going on real quick. So we have this con accept yada yada. And we handle connection. What's going on? Time sleep second two. Lock, lock, lock. And then we write this thing. I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe chat already see, uh, has spot the issue. What's your VS Code the team? Groovebox. Exclamation mark VS Code. Man, what's going on here? It's not working. Oh yeah, of course. No, 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 no. Dial TCP 3000, that's fine. Are we actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, wait. Go handle com, yeah, yeah. Here, buffer, 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 buffer. We make this buffer thingy, we read into this guy. Uh, then we say that the message is gonna be the buff n, and then we print it out. What's going on here? Am I building something different? Oh, I see, I see. It's the make file shenanigans. Look at this, guys. I'm, ooh. I was thinking, make run, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's build first, hey. Of course, not gonna panic, yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. Uh, yeah, I was thinking. All right, so we start this pump, boom, and then we're gonna have a command set for bar, and that's basically here, right? So it's 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 at the server. We're gonna we're gonna have this, right? So what we're gonna do is we make uh, a new file. We're gonna call this command go package main, right? Boom, boom, bats. Um, oh, Mardico, I use fiber just to work faster, but my business logic is independent of any framework. Yeah, it is. Like, your business logic should be abstracted and should never be uh, tied to your transport or whatever, right? And fiber is fine, right? Fiber is fine. Uh, Ugur, how will you distribute the storage? I'm assuming you're going to deploy this to Kubernetes. Uh, nope. Uh, why is people... Why are people so obsessed by deploying to Kubernetes? And, and, and all that stuff. It's crazy. It's like... Uh, but I understand what your question is, uh, Ugur Vigo. But you can... You can, if you want, you can just... Deploy that to Kubernetes. And it will... But how is it going to work? I don't know. How how then... Uh, this this leader thingy and, and is going to work? I have no clue. I'm not a DevOps engineer. Or a Kubernetes specialist. I'm so sorry. Um, like I said, everybody has his own spe specialty, and uh, Kubernetes is not mine. I don't like to do, do all that stuff. All right, next thing, Wrestle Joe. I like watching these streams to see how others do it. The velocity of my code to page is horrible. I have good ideas, but not turning them to code quickly. It doesn't really matter. Like I think uh, turning ideas into code quickly comes comes with experience, right? And I think the more you experiment and the more you try to Write your IDs, the badish. At speed will come always, right? Speed is something that will come over time. Because a lot of these things are already being done in other projects and similar projects. And then you get the hang of it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get faster and faster and faster the more you explore. But if you don't explore, if you don't do that in your free time, because in your job you have no time to do that, then you're going to be stuck with having your experience tied to the job you're doing. 
right? So if you're building an e-commerce platform, you're gonna you're gonna at your job, for example, you're gonna do a lot of I don't know. It depends, right? But I mean, you're gonna have a lot of knowledge on that kind of topic and on everything what 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 comes with that. But the problem is you're gonna lack a lot of experience in all these other stuff. And I think it's important because having all these, you don't need to be an expert, right? You don't, you don't need to be an expert at these distributed shenanigans or blockchain or compilers, parsers and all that stuff. Maybe some AI uh, stuff. But if you explore from time to time with these things, you're going to know where to find stuff later on much more easier. I think. What are we doing here? Uh, type. Comment. It's gonna be a string because I don't want to hassle with uh, bytes, right? Uh, so we're gonna say uh, CMD. Actually, going on it like this. Why not? CMD set. It's gonna be a command. S. Something like that. I think it's easy. And I'm gonna say CMD get. And then all those other things, right? Parse commands, uh, raw, or maybe a buffer or something, or b at at b b maybe b just a slice of bytes. Actually, we could call we could call it raw, right? Um, maybe we can return a pointer to this message and an error, right? We don't have a message. It's no problem. message strict the problem is uh, not quite sure if, the, if this is going to be a good approach because uh, for example we're going to say cmd is going to be a command then we're going to have a key which is going to be a byte byte uh, we're also going to have a value and then we're going to have a ttl the thing is uh, in some commands we actually don't want that Uh, make a constant yota plus type as bytes more efficient yeah i know but the problem is that i need to yeah, yeah i know i know what you mean you want to do this right um that's what i basically always doing what you what, what I, I make this this you went eight or something or bytes it's the same it's the same shenanigans right uh and then just do an iota here and uh, right and then i don't need to do this right and i can do this iota right then again i know but the problem is that i need to have these uh these bytes in my protocol right here. then this set cannot be this set needs to be a byte actually it makes more sense because you're going to save a lot of space um, although you could say yeah, you don't need to you could basically parse this set to this this command i know but i know what you mean and what you're telling me makes a lot of sense to be honest but uh, i'm going to make it super 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 simple for now and then improvements later on parse command Actually, I don't like parse command. You know why? I will tell you. Because, let's open up server real quick here and see what's going on. So what we want to do is... Server. Uh, 45 minutes, that's good. Let's see. Uh, server, handle command uh, command here and we need a connection because we need to respond uh, so we're gonna say con and then damn how are we gonna f actually do we care we don't have message I was thinking maybe you could do something like this. Uh, MSG set or something. And parse that into, into this one. Look. Uh, or maybe we don't need to have, have these tricks. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's, it's going to be... 
We do, we do, we do, we do. Right, so what we're gonna do is... Uh, this is placeholder, 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 just for the com uh, compiler stuff. So we have this buffer here. Uh, we're gonna say go, s, handle, command. We're gonna put the con inside of this thing. Uh, wait. And we could do buff n here. Yeah, why not? Rob CMD maybe? Hey, hey, hey. Wrestle joy. So you have a uh, struct for messages which contain commands but uh, may not contain a key and values for the command. Yeah, that, that, the problem is like um, this message struct here, right? Makes a lot of sense for get and set, in my opinion. But what if we want to have a join command or another command? Then, then most of these things are not going to get used. And then I can, I can already see based on experience where it's going to end. Right? You start with this and then by the end of your program, you end with a message that's basically full of all new things over time. They're going to have all these values, right? And they're going to say, fuck, this message is getting fucking nasty. And most of the time, you're only going to parse a couple things in it and then yeah that's that's what i'm uh, what i'm thinking about this so i want to make this uh, more simpler so we're going to handle this command and then we could do something like uh, which is going to be some kind of a mix and then we could say something like s server uh, handle set command how are we going to do it like that or cmd doesn't really matter Net.com <sighs> So then, then we can have something like a, a set command here and parse it into to these things, right? For example, you could say something like uh, the raw string is going to be a string of the raw CMD uh, like this right and then we're gonna say that the parts uh, is gonna be the raw string um, split no we can't this is this is not <laughs> this is this is cool Anthony what the hell are you doing strings split uh, the rouster str into this one right and we have this parts right then we're going to say that the cmd is going to be parts one first of all of, co of course we need to check parts right but the thing is we could do this uh zero actually um Respond. Something like that, I don't care. Actually, we could do... Uh, invite command. I'm thinking, guys. Like I said, it's, it's going on the top of my head. Um, I look, uh, invite command, right? Can we do... Invite commands. It doesn't actually care. Fuck this shit. We will we will fix it later on. Uh, so then we're gonna say. Can we do var here real quick? Right. Then we're gonna say the CMD is part zero. Right. Fuck it. Like that. It's perfectly fine. Um. Damn, it's gonna be nasty. But it, it, I think it's... There are a lot of things, uh, a lot of options we can do here. We could do a switch.
I don't like this. Let's cost this baby. Alright, so we could do something like this. If CMD is set, like, 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 like let's first do a dirty. We're gonna say. Do we want an auto reach? Damn, this is nasty! It's interesting to see you take through it. Uh, off top of the head is interesting. Yeah, it's, 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 it, like I said, there's so many things going into my head. Like, uh, some, some voices are telling me that I need to have um, a, a different, like, this message chat setting, right? Uh, it's telling me that I need to, I need to have a key, byte, and a value here, right? And a TTL. Something like that. Uh, it's gonna be a time duration. Right? And then, for example, type MSG get is gonna be. It's gonna be simple. It's gonna just gonna have a key. I know what I mean. And then we're gonna have uh, other delete, for example. But delete, delete could then be the same thing, right? Because we delete with a key. Something like that, if you know what I mean. Because if it's set here, then we could say that the key is going to be a byte uh, of parts uh, 1, right? And the value is going to be parts 2. Actually, to be honest, uh, this is not, not too bad, actually, to be honest. And then we could say handle set, right? Handle set CMD. Actually, a TTL. TTL. That could be... And we could do it. We could do a double check here, right? Uh, because that's the most of the time. That's how I basically uh, make my programs, right? I start with something like this, and after a couple of, of iterations, you can see, ah, damn, maybe I can factor that out into its into its into something better. Because otherwise, you're going to s be so stubborn on trying to find the best way directly, and it's gonna take so much time, and you're gonna be brain fucked. So I think just make it quick and uh, lean and mean. Make it lean, I mean. Of course, we need to check here. Um, because we need to have... If it's CMD set, what you could do is... If len um, parts here is not equal... Then we can actually say if it's not equal uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? We could actually return and respond. Right? And with respond, I mean respond back to the connection. Right? Invalid get command, right? Uh, set. Something like that. Actually, let's make it caps. Whoop. Then we have these guys here, right? We can make a nice var. Like that. Boom. Right? And then we can actually say uh, if ash, which is also nasty, I'm gonna lie. S handle get. Is it the get command? It's a set command. Handle set command. The connection. Um... Uh, we could do something like this. Actually, we could parse this into into this, or we could do just key value. You know what? Why can I not? Shit. No. <sighs> the struggle. Wait, I think I, I'm gonna do it like that, uh, to be honest. And MSG sets. I'm gonna do it like that and, and fuck it, right? Um, it's gonna be a key. Uh, let's let's copy this man. We will see if it's good or wrong. Value and then it's gonna be TTL two and three. Let's delete this. Message in here and uh, null. Um, respond once again, right? Return. What 
What is this? TTL. Shit, we need to split this thing out. <sighs> Sterkonf! Atoy. Is it Atoy? Yeah. Part 3. If I not nail, we need to we need to check this error. Most of the time, I don't actually check these these atoy thingies, but now we need because if somebody is 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 doing usage usage, users always be careful. So we need to do the same thing once again. Uh, paste it in here, TTL TTL, and then shit. How do we do this? Time duration? Can we cost this to? We can. I have no clue what's going on with this duration then. We will see. Oh. Uh, handling the set command. Actually, we can actually do this, right? Uh, let's look chat because you are putting logic into the handle command circ that matches the details of your strict don't love it uh, I know it's dirty but I just don't like it uh, I like the message strict approach way better um, yeah like I said this is just temporary the first thing that come into my mind <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a workout in for the day your priv perseverance is commendable Hey man, thank you, Wrestle Joy. Get some good pump, man. Chase the pump there, and uh, I see you in the next one, man. What happens if parse zero is not valid? Um, good question. Man, so many, so many chat messages. Uh, CMD set, get the set. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, guys. Listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, let me, let me quickly recap this. This is nasty, right? Uh, handle comments. You know what? This is this is way too this is way too bad. This is way too bad. This is this is not good. Um Actually to be honest This is so fucking bad. Uh, how can we? Ay, 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 ay. We need to extract this because people are gonna kill me, right? Um, let's call it a message. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it like that, right? Uh, let me gonna actually say. Wait, boss command, do we care about this? Um, no. Yeah, we need another message. Damn, this is gonna like I said, I don't wanna spend time on these things. These are the, these are these 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 nasty things. I'm gonna put everything in this message strict and call it a fucking day. That's what I'm gonna do. Whatever you like it or not. Um, so the CMD is going to be basically, first of all, let's split this thing up. Let's copy some stuff we already have, right? You will see. This will be so much better. I swear. I swear. I swear. Um, but you see, that, 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 that's, what, that's exactly what happens if you try to make things perfect from the first time. You're basically stuck in this thing, right? Why don't we just make this thing work and then see what's going on. But hey, that's what I'm doing. But I'm, I'm getting jabated by chat, right? Jabated by chat. So, uh, first of all, we're gonna check. We're gonna save this. 
We're gonna check raw string, then we're gonna split this thing, we're gonna check if the is if there is no nothing at all, it's basically completely garbage. Uh, and this is gonna be actually we can return this. This is amazing to be honest. Um we can return null heat, and then we're gonna say FMT. Actually, we don't care. We're gonna say error new, so we can actually assert this um, invalid command. Invalid, actually invalid protocol format like that. Then we're gonna then we're gonna have this thing. We're gonna have a command based on the. Parts one, part zero, right? First, boom. Then the key is always the same. The not always true. You see, that's that. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna think about it. The key is gonna be parts. Look at this, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. No worries, I'm gonna do it very fast so we can move on. Uh, both commanders are to set, yeah, 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 I, I will, I will. Wait, Hitch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, 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 thanks. All right, uh, so we have this message, then we're gonna say uh, if, and we're gonna switch, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna say if message CMD, it's gonna be CMD, if it's a set, let's do set first, right? If it's a set, we're gonna say message value is going to be, this is actually bad, right? It's gonna be a byte of uh, parts um, two, I guess, like that. Actually, what we need to do, if it's a set, we're gonna do this check actually here, right? We're gonna do another check. Um, and we're gonna say that the parts needs to be four, right? Is that true? Uh, the command, yes, then the key, the value TTL is for, yeah, 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 yeah. Invalid, and then we're gonna say it's an invalid set. Command, like that. What's, what's going on here? Right, just like that. Um, This is just command parsing, very simple. Uh, CMD, CMD, then I'm gonna say M value is going to be a byte, byte of uh, parts, damn, two maybe, I don't know. And then MSG, TTL, okay, cool. Then we need to do this uh, shenanigans like here. Clean, 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 clean. There is not such thing as clean. Clean doesn't exist. Cleaning is what you do in the gym. Um, let's pause this thing, TTL, TTL. We don't care here. I'm just gonna give zero fucks right now. I'm just gonna say invalid set command. Wait, invalid uh, set TTL. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, gonna bother dumping it out. Uh, so we're gonna set this value, then we're gonna do the TTL, TTL. This is so, this is, this is weird that I can do that, actually. I don't know why. Can I do... Yikes, what is this raw CMD? Uh, parse command, parse command. This thing, what is, whoa, what is going on here? CMD, right? If R is not nil. Um, return. I need to respond back to this thing. 
Good like that. Uh, handling the set command, that is not good. We're gonna say... Failed. To parse. Command. Errors here, we don't care. We're gonna respond here real quick. Later on, respond on the connection, right? We need to write this to the connection. That something is wrong. Then we're gonna handle... Right, so the parse command is just gonna parse these things into the correct format. Why not? Why is this taking so long? This stupid thing. All right. And then parse command is going to be parse message, which makes sense, right? A message just like that. Let me do chat. What's going on? Change CMD get command to set to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both commands. Yes, yes, yes. All good, all good, boys. We got this, right? We got this. So this is much clean, right? So we handle the command. We check. We pass a message. We're going to respond if it's bad. Then we're going to say if the command is um, a set command, then we're going to handle that set command. Which is huge. Easy, All right? Um, wait, first of all, what we need to do in cache real quick here is um, this TTL, right? So we're gonna set this thing. So what we're gonna do is go funk. Um, do it like that. We're gonna say um, time ticker. Uh, new ticker. Time. TTL Take it C Okay, so basically we're already locking here, right? Because we're gonna set, so we're locking here so we can actually do the list, right? Delete uh, uh, C Data String Key Right, that's what we're gonna do Alright, we're gonna set the data, we're gonna spin up a go routine with this ticker. We're gonna wait until the ticker is done, and then we're gonna delete the data. What do you think about that? Uh, ID. Piconi. If client is going to call the server anyway, not sure if it came late, why not use HTTP post get delete methods for comments just to talk? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanna uh, avoid. Uh, I think it's it's good. Some some databases using that these HTTP JSON commands. It's easy. I want to do uh, everything with 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 this this native protocol just for a hey, for no for no big reason at all. I think it's it's faster. That's for sure, right? Redis is super fast, and if it's it's JSON, JSON is bad. JSON is it's not bad, but JSON is super 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 slow, right? So slow uh, in comparison to binary protocols, if you know what I mean. Of course, our parsing is maybe not the fastest one, but it's going to be faster than JSON. Not quite sure. Maybe. I think I think it is. It probably. It's definitely going to be. So that's why I'm using this. It's a little bit nastier, um, but that's basically how Redis works. Also. But it gives us a hard time. <laughs> it is what it is. It gives us a hard time. That's for sure. Yeah, actually true. This uh, Charis, you're right, actually, to be honest. Uh, he is 100% right. This ticket is not the best thing. Let's let, let's go back to cash. We are already here. 
uh, time after. Actually, it, it's true. It's so true, actually, to be honest. Um, so true. Time after TTL. We're already done. Hey. Try these tanks, man. It makes a lot of sense what you're telling me. Not quite sure what I, uh, why I'm using this ticker. <laughs> In this case. Hey. Cool. Server. Uh, this is all working perfectly fine. Set commands. What we're going to do is... Um, As cash set come no we don't need to come actually that's for responding later on right so we're gonna set this thing uh, it's gonna be a message key message value message TTL uh, what are we gonna do is probably return yeah return error because what we're gonna do here is basically um, do something like this funk S server How are you gonna call this? Send to followers or something? Followers. That's that's what I'm gonna do, right? So we're gonna basically get this command. If you are the leader, if you are the leader, we're gonna basically distribute that to our followers. And what we're gonna do is, if we're gonna use a context, um, so we can cancel, so we can set a deadline on that, right? So we can set a deadline. And what I'm thinking basically is the first top of my head uh, is if we failed to, so we have a, let's say we have a couple of followers and we have follower A, right? We have follower A. So if we one, if we time out on follower A, we basically gonna sync, desync. Um, we're gonna keep some track of desync that that the leader is desynced with follower A or something like that. Not quite sure, but we're gonna basically flag something that we are out of sync because if we cannot uh, distribute a key to one of our followers, we are th that guy is gonna be out of sync. But the problem is that the guy that does not receive it is not gonna know that he's out of sync yet. But we, as a leader, we know that. So we're gonna fly that out of sync and then we're gonna do something with it. I don't know how we're gonna handle it. Send to followers. Uh, and that's basically what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna say go as send to followers. And maybe we need a context. Um, for now, we're gonna do just like this, right? Context to do and call it a day. Something like that, right? I first want to set, I first want to cache, cache set this myself and check for errors, which is in, in our implementation is not going to be any error at all. Because we have a simple implementation, but if you have a more complex implementation, then uh, it could be an error. So we first going to check this, then we're going to send to all our followers. We don't care actually, to be honest. In this case, if somebody cannot receive this key, Send to followers, that's not gonna work. We need to basically... Voila. Message, and I think that's gonna be fine because we know what command that is, right? What's going on? What, what, what? Oh yeah. All right, so if there's an error here, we're probably gonna flag something. And of course, who's determined who's the leader? That's gonna be that that, that that's a consensus, right? That's that's not. Are you planning to use it in distributed poker in some other project? I don't know. I don't think so, to be honest. Like I said, this is just for um, I don't know. Hey, for entertainment, right? Trying to to see how far we come with that. Uh, without basically having some reference implementation next to you, right? You could basically open up uh, some some similar projects and see how they do that and, and, and do some research up front, right? 
if you want to do this for a prediction environment you would probably that's what i would do it i would probably do some research up front right so what are they doing how are they doing it um and all that stuff and then basically try to mix your ideas with their ideas and, and do the implementation but i like to do this like i said these 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 experiments this create this exploration where we just say hey, okay let's make a distributed cache and don't think about it up front just open up your editor and start coding and and see what with what you come up with right um and then of course when you come if you have a very very uncertainties you can actually or later on you can you can see oh shit i was stuck i did not really know how to do this i really really doesn't make any sense what i'm doing then you can basically check it and 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 and, and improve it if you know what i mean um it's just so good for learning and and to get your um is my music are we already at the end this is crazy uh, that's that's basically what I li what I like to do, right? Um, you don't need to think about this as a as a as a as a professional production ready system, right? And I don't think that um, most of these you need to understand that most of these like a Redis or something, these projects were came these projects came from exploration. You know what I mean? There is no there is no like uh, Antires or what is his name from Redis? I don't think he woke up the, in the morning and he said, I'm going to make Redis and I'm going to make it the best. And uh, he just was playing around with his stuff and he gradually over time made it better and better and faster and people were basically adopting it and then make it even mo more faster and, and adding all these these other, uh, because at the beginning was basically just uh, a key value, but now you can, you can store whatever, you can store a lot of other structures in it, right? So... Because I think if you if you wake up in 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 a uh, at a day and you're basically gonna fill your head and fill your mind and fill your brain with all information, how should staying could work? I think you, it's not gonna be so fun as 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 just trying to explore and see how far you can come with your own knowledge, right? Um, and I do this a lot. I do this a lot with a lot of stuff. That's how I learn a lot of stuff. Um, yes. So what's going on? Send to followers. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Wait, I'm thinking actually. So we set this thing. Where are we going to? I think it's going to be the cache itself. I think it's going to be a good thing. Where are we going to just do a simple logging to see... Uh, print F. Of course, you could use your own logger. I know, I know, but this is just the basic stuff. Um, something like that. I don't know, man. Can I do? Uh, value. Wait, 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 we have a make, we have a make run, eh? Alright, set food to bar, so that's nice, right? Um, that's good. That's fine. Command, let's get it away. So the next thing we're gonna do real quick is open up server before we do the... Don't think we're gonna implement delete, we're gonna just do get set real quick. Uh, comments. Then we're gonna say case C M D. Uh, get, because then we're gonna basically boot up a, uh, another thingy and try to. You know what I mean? Like I said, introduction to distributed systems, right? You first start with the basics, and then you. And for the people that actually wanna 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 know in depth how decent decentralized systems, distributed systems, peer to peer gossip, peer discovery, and all that stuff, on my Patreon page, there is where the real deal happens, right? Uh, especially I have the distributed file storage and then I have the distributed then I have the 
the, the, the new blockchain series, which is completely different than the series that's already on YouTube. And that is basically what I already thought about this a little bit. Uh, it's going to be much more focused and it's going to be good shit, man. You, you cannot find that stuff on the internet, I swear to God. Uh, you cannot. Basically, what you find on my YouTube, you cannot. You can basically not find anywhere else. Correct me if I'm wrong. CMD get. Um, I think we don't parse this thing, right? Do we parse this? <sighs> we don't care, right? Because we don't care, actually. Uh, key. Key, 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 key. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's fine. It's already been taken care of. It's already been taken care of. Uh, CMD get. We're going to say if. Actually, to be honest... Can we make this a little bit better? Because what we're gonna do is this, right? Uh, let me copy this, paste it in. Because I don't like this approach. If R is gonna be handle CMD, get CMD. We don't have that, right? It's no problem. Paste it in. Uh, return. No, right? Handle, get CMD. Gonna be the same thing. You see, because we need to respond all the time. <coughs> respond here, respond here. Right, and how do we respond? I will show you. It's going to be something like this, right? It's going to be... Uh, com, write. Com, write. And then going to be... Actually, yeah, it's going to be a byte of... A, for example, I don't know. Um, add error or something. Right? Something like that. We're just going to dump out the error. Actually, do we want to dump out the error? Probably not. Or probably we will. Something like that. Just dump out. Let, let the client know. But now, you can see what's going on. Then we have this, right? We're gonna... And, 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 and all these comments. It's gonna be nasty. So I think maybe we could do something like... Actually... <coughs> and even con has an error. I know. Con, con, right con gives an error. But hey. Uh, fail to pass command. That's fine. Respond. It's gonna be this one. Good night, Ice Bear, man. Have a nice sleep. John Doe, for the love of God, Anthony, you are just outstanding. <laughs> John Doe, stop it, man. You're always you're always enlightening me in, in, in my YouTube comments and everything. Man, Joe, hey. It's, uh, people are going to think that I'm going to pay you for all this for all this shilling. But I'm, thank you, man. Like comments like this, uh, com you're always commenting on my videos. That's really, that really what, what, what makes me going, right? That's that's these comments from people that are basically what keeps me going to do this to sacrifice my time to basically hang out with you guys and make videos because yeah it makes the grinding it makes the grinding so much less of a of a grind if you know what I mean um, wait so how are we gonna do this I think can we do something like this far at error. Something like that, and then we're gonna say, let's delete this, right? Uh, here, here, here. And then we're gonna say something like, uh, R is gonna be this thing, right? The same thing here. Uh, R is gonna be this thing, hop, delete this thing. Right, and then we're gonna say, because we're gonna handle the CMD, and then we're gonna be, gonna be here. And we're going to say if the error is not nil, we're going to check the error after all because we don't going to double, double, double case it. It is impossible. Um, so if the error is not nil, then we can... Actually, to be honest, you can actually... Let's join this. Why is... Save me. Uh, fail to pass command. That's not true. Fail to... Handle. Command. We're gonna dump this error for ourselves, and then we're gonna write this error, and then we could do an if r here. But hey, we don't need a return here. Uh, of course, we have troubles here. Um, wait, this can be a pro no because return here, right? Wait. We don't need this, to be honest. Look at this. 
We already assigned the error. And if, it, and if, the, if the error is here... Wait, this is so confusing. I'm not going to lie. So if there's no error... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right, 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 right. Okay, cool. How are we going to test this? Uh, first of all, let's open up cash real quick and do a logging here if we get the key, right? So we're going to... Do this logging. We're going to get the key, key string, value, yada, yada, and then do this. Actually, to be honest, let's put it here first. We're going to say get uh, key, this guy, string key. To be honest, do we really want to... Maybe we want to have the result actually in the logging, right? Get key equals this i don't know man string key string value val i know it doesn't make any sense but it is what it is okay then in main real quick wait do we part yeah, yeah yeah right so we sleep two seconds we're gonna write set food to bar right that's the first thing we're gonna do now we're gonna say uh we're gonna time sleep Test this real quick, right? We're going to time sleep, time seconds. That's going to be... Oh. Um, let's let's wait two seconds here. Then we're going to actually write to the connection again. But we're going to say, get me... Uh, get me foo, right? Get me foo. Just like that. Okay, we have a problem with this. Probably with this, uh, with this TTL. TTL is going to be too low. I have no clue. Let's do something like that. So we're gonna con write get foo. And then, oh man, it's a little bit nasty, I know. With HTTP, it would be much uh, much better. But then now you have, like this This teaches you also, this this lets lets you experiment with writing to connections and reading from connections and all that stuff, right? It's it's cool. It's not something that you do on a, on a daily basis, right? Um, and like it, JSON HTTP, that's something you do on, a, on a, every fucking day probably on your job or in JavaScript or in every other language. So try to basically come out of your comfort zone and read that and, and try that stuff out. Ismail, uh, hi there, I like your videos. There are there are Django for Python, Laravel for PHP, HTTP framework for Go. Yes. Um, well, Laravel, Django, no. No, we don't have that in Go. I'm so sorry, we don't have that. We have these, these frameworks that help you. Uh, for example, Fiber, Echo, something else um, but these are not uh, as enhanced as uh, Laravel and um, and Django stuff in Golang we have the Golang well basically Golang is not actually built to it's not actually made for all for, for making a complete heavy heavy MVC framework or something um, Golang is actually built to use different components and to compose it into something you want and take what you need and 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 that's it right take what you need struct uh, modular modular stuff kratos i'm not sure no, I, I like i guess i'm, I'm not and i don't really i'm using echo a lot basically um if i just want to have a simple mix i just use echo and call it a day uh we make a simple buffer here that's gonna be oh man uh Bytes. Doesn't really matter. He's not gonna say com read buff and I don't care actually about the errors to be honest. Um, MMT print ln print ln yeah uh, yeah 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 buff uh, oi, oi, and boom maybe a string actually yeah no string buff and stop yes something like that is this gonna work <laughs> shit we fucked is this connection still uh
Wait, are we? Wait, wait, wait. Let me. Um, so we write this thing, right? That's gonna work. Yeah, of course. I, I, I'm, I'm complete trash. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I am. I am complete trash. Um, yeah. No. Val. Ash. It's gonna be S cash. Uh, cash. Get. CMD. MSG. MSG. Dot key. Right. We're gonna say if there is an error. Actually, to be honest, yeah. If there's an error and that's not null, we're gonna return the error. And then we have a value. Um, oh yeah, it's fine. And then we write it here, right? Actually, we can make this better, right? We could say um, nr is going to be com. Fuck. Yeah, no. Con write val. Then we have n. Uh, if n. Actually, do we care? <sighs> Gone right file, is that a thing? Let's return the other right here, just like that, right? Easy peasy. Peasy! <sighs> yes! You see? We have the basics. The Johnny Sins of programming. All my fucking friends call me Johnny Sins. And when I tell my girlfriend, hey, that's good news, right? That's how that's how you know. I told her, I said, hey, baby, they call me Johnny Sins. And she said, normally the first thing she needs to do is smile or try to hide her smile. like, But she didn't. She has no clue. Who, she's, who the fuck is Johnny Sins? And I said, it's okay, baby. Don't worry about it. I don't want her to find out who Johnny Sins is. Because he's an astronaut. He's a plumber. He's a doctor. He's everything. Johnny Sins is crazy. This guy, hide your fucking girl. Because if Johnny comes out... It's not the only thing that will come out. It's crazy. Johnny Sins, hide your fucking girl from that guy. Because if you want to compete with Johnny Sins, you need to be at the top of the top. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, have you used TS for the backend? Deciding between Go and TS for the backend in 2023. I'm going to give you a good advice. Use both. Right? Use both. Um, do you save your life? Yes, yes, man. Uh, Bishr. I'm saving my VODs. So every live stream is being saved. And you can basically watch every live stream whenever you want. Where you want. Take your friends. Take some popcorn. Enjoy the show, my man. Um, yeah, so basically, Cash, uh, have you used TS uh, for the backend? Yes, of course. I'm using TS. If you already know TS, you could learn Go. If you already know Go, you could learn TS. Basically, you need to know both. It's very important. As a, uh, as a programmer, it's very important to, to know all these tools, right? JavaScript, TypeScript, Golang, Python, you need to know everything. Actually, to be honest, I had this discussion on my Discord channel, basically, and if you're not subscribed, hey, consider subscribing. If you're not already, jump into my Discord community. I had this discussion on Discord um, where people come in and they ask me all, all the, always the same questions, and I can, I, I totally agree with that. I was the same guy when I was younger, when I was starting out, and they ask me, what languages do I need to use? Is, is Do I need to learn Python? Do I need to learn Golang? Do I need to learn... The only thing you need to learn is learn how to program. How to think like a programmer and don't let you... Don't let people confuse you with complexity and... and all these, these different paradigms and all these how-tos and folder structures and hooks and hooks and... That and this and all these YouTubes and TikTok, please guys, I, I swear to God, turn off your TikTok. Don't use that thing. It's so fucking cringe. It's crazy. It's, uh, you're getting so fucking, how do you guys even program still? I don't understand. All these new guys, they're getting so brainwashed and getting 
all these things injected, they 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 need to feel so insecure because it's crazy, man. Don't worry about it. Learn how to program, and once you learn how to program, you can learn every language much more faster, right? A loop is a loop, a variable is a variable, HTTP is HTTP, every fucking where, right? It's the syntax that's different, and maybe some some small idioms, right? Because to keep things consistent, but that's it, right? That's it. It doesn't matter. Um, and to be honest, if you really want to do backend and you want to you want to do fast, you want to make as a solo dev. As a solo dev, as a full stack dev, I would not recommend you to learn Golang, to be honest, because then you're much better in a Svelte or uh, what is all these things, Next.js. You can make complete backends and frontends at the same, so fast. You have everything in one repo, so there is no complexity between repos. Um, React is installed, you can use the same language, TypeScript in the backend, TypeScript in the frontend, in the same folder, it's all laid out, everything is basically done for you, you can generate the whole fucking shebang, you have Prisma, Prisma Generate, Prisma this, Prisma that, Prisma all the fucking things, and it works like a fucking charm, and if that's not enough, you can do Prisma Studio, and you have a fucking uh, UI that shows everything, and, and you can use MongoDB, Postgres, SQLite, yeah, all the fucking shebang, with one click of a finger. It's, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy. It's so fast. You can deploy that thing to Versal with one click. You don't need to care about Kubernetes. You don't need to care about nothing. You just build stuff, deploy stuff, and go and, 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 and take the money, sip margaritas on the beach, smoking cigars. That's what you need to do. Playing some, some, some beach soccer or something. You know what I mean? That's the only thing you need to do. That's what I would do. That's how I built my startup in Next.js and some 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 more complex stuff in Golang. Very small, but all the shebang is in Next.js. The whole fucking shebang. You know what I mean? But of course, guys, listen. Golang is more used for these smaller services, right? Smaller backends. Of course, also APIs, of course, but smaller APIs, a subset of APIs, not the complete shebang, not not a complete MVC framework where you have products, users, this, that, the whole, no. Golang is more built, smaller systems, smaller tooling, smaller APIs that serve one purpose very well. And that's why we don't have all these uh, complex frameworks, that's why we can just pick and use and, and build something real quick. Yeah, like if you want to build a distributed key value store, for example, what we are doing, then Golang would make would make a lot of sense. Console, at CD, uh, Badger, Cockroach, ZB, it's all being built in Golang. All these databases are being built in Golang. Of course, Redis, in my opinion, the holy grail of, 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 of key value stores. It is what it is. Nobody can compete, right? It's in C. It's crazy. Antires is a beast. Like Thomas fucking Shelby, it is, man. By the order of the Peaky Blinders. So easy to get to an MVP, exactly, that's what it is. Uh, because programming, at the end of the day, what do you want to do? Um, do you want to Do you want to work? I, it, it depends, guys, it depends. I don't, it depends. I like to do these, these um, <clears throat> more low-level stuff, right? More, more low-level stuff in the back end. For example, I'm working for Trading Light right now, tradinglight.com, one of the best... Basically, the best um, order book rep uh, representation, th the best charts you will ever have to, um, if you wanna, if you wanna see what's going on in the market. So we are building everything in Golang. They are building everything in Golang. I'm, I'm not touching the front end at all. I'm just building these complex, very, 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 very complex stuff. I swear to God, it's so complex. This, this is nothing, right? Then I need to be focused. I cannot. I, I, this is complex stuff. And also very, very performant. We do a lot of crazy stuff that's going on there. I love to do that, right? I love to do, I love to be in that kind of an environment. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you, you want to be more of a builder, a, a global builder. And you want to build a front end and you want to, you want to build the whole shebang. It depends, right? Hi Anthony, how do you soak info from a page doc quickly? Also on stream, it seems you hardly see the docs. How do you manage that? Hey, it's uh, magico. No, it's uh, basically. Um, 
I'm, I'm not touching the docks because what I'm building right now is basically not the go-to implementation. If you know what I mean. Of course, if I want, if I really want to build a key value store or a distributed cache that's going to be prediction ready for everybody to use, then I would probably get some documentation here and there. But like I said, this is basically basic stuff, right? Uh, most of the time, it's it's just... And all that connection stuff, I just... I, I, like I said, I have so many hours, man. It's crazy. Like I said, I say, I'm going to say it again. And this is going to be... Some people will say, what the fuck are you telling? But I'm 36. But <laughs> the amount of hours I have in coding... There are people that are 60 years, 65 years, senior developers, they don't even have half my hours. I can swear to God, they don't even have half my hours. Although they are double my age, I code legit every single day. 7-7. Seven, seven. It's fucking Saturday, I already coded this morning. I will code tomorrow morning. It's Sunday tomorrow, you know what I mean? I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm coding a lot and all these hours gave me all this information, all this, this 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 knowledge in the back of my head. You know what I mean? What do you expect? I have I don't know how many hours, but it's gonna be crazy. How many how many times did I use this 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 kind of key value stuff and all this connection stuff immense an immense amount of time. So for me it's basically Are you self-taught? Yes, I am. I am. I have a I have a, a grade of electromechanics, right? So I'm not. I'm basically not a retard, but I'm self-taught. It's uh, although there is an article. I'm gonna be honest here, and I don't care actually. There is some article about me on the internet where it, where is where in that article in that article. Is written that I have a master in computer science, but I don't. I swear to God, I don't have a master in computer science. You can, you can ask anybody. Ask my co-founder. Ask all my fucking friends. I, I go, call my fucking school, call fucking Ghent University, and ask. Uh, call Ghent University from 2005 and and ask if there was an Anthony. <laughs> there was no Anthony there. But the reason, I, guys, listen, the reason why it's in this article, it's because what I did, w w where the article is all about, is so insane that nobody won't believe me. That if I don't have a computer science degree, that's the thing. That's the thing. So that's the problem. So it's that, that article is so amazing that if you, if you don't, it, people won't believe it. It's crazy. But it is what it is. But I don't have any degree. And it's not to sell you something, right? A lot of these people on the internet, you're sitting on YouTube that they are self-taught just to sell you something. I don't want to sell you something, so I, I don't care. Actually, I, I would like to have it, uh, a master in computer science. That would be so amazing. I have a master in computer science. Can you imagine? But I don't. I, have, I just went to my school till I was 18. And then I, I was already programming at my 16, right? Uh, I was already doing some shenanigans in PHP for Counter-Strike stuff. And then um, I just, yeah, I did a lot of stuff, right? When I was 18, like I said, my life is so crazy that I cannot tell you about it because you're not going to believe me. So I can be, I, I can, I can shut up. I can better shut up. All right. What are we doing here? It's actually working fine. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, damn. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> I need a logging real quick here. Server. Wait, uh, actually, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Handle CMD, right? That's going to be better. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm going to do this. FMT. Uh, print F, maybe. <sighs> 
Here, no, nonetheless, the Sherlock Holmes of, of the internet. Yeah, exactly. Is it 2008 he graduated? That's actually bad. Yeah, of course, because I was graduated in 2005 from high school, so I needed to say 2000. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could be. Yeah, but it isn't. With a master's in computer science and went on work for an eco delivery startup called Bilbo. That's true, right? So the, the eco delivery startup, that's completely true. Um. But you found the article, that's amazing. How did you find that? Let me know. Although it's it's open public, right? But I, some, it's it's hard to find. I don't think you're gonna find it with my name. Don't think you're gonna find it if you, if you... It's on my Patreon page. Maybe there. Tom, I just stumbled across this channel. It's mainly Go projects, uh, some super interesting content overall. It's most it's most of the time going, but I, I don't know. if Maybe if I wanna expand my, my viewer base, I need to do some other stuff. I missed, I most, most of the time do go, but also a lot of trading stuff. Uh, quant trading stuff. And st uh, well, well, that's how I'm planning. But the problem is people don't like to see this. I don't know what it is. It doesn't get any, a lot of viewers. Not quite sure. Um, fail to hand, wait, what am I doing? Heesh, no. Heesh, heesh, heesh. Uh, received command. If you pull it in Golden, they will come. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it is like uh, it takes time, of course. Uh, it is. Maybe a rest or something. Although I, I, I know rest, but. YouTube, tr YouTube. The Go corner on YouTube is trash. I don't, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't, I never watch a Go video because I don't know. Oh, I'm fucking tired. Come on, what I want to do. What, what am I willing to do right now? So receive comment here, uh, receive comment. Because maybe I can do this from the client. It doesn't matter, from the connection. Because I want to actually add uh, distributing the simple simple, distribu simple distribution of keys into play. Uh... Listen, listen, adder is going to be flag string. Uh, listen, actually. What's going on here, man? Uh, what's the default, the pinnacle of ports? Listen, uh, listen, address of the server, right? That's that. Flag parse. My brain is getting fried. Uh, listen adder is going to be this listen adder here. Is leader. Um, actually, to be honest, uh, you can do. Something like this. Not quite sure if it's going to be the best thing, but I just want to be quick. Um, I'm going to call it leader added, right? And that's going to be... The I'm going to leave it open. Listen, address. I'm gonna flag parse this, I'm gonna say leader. Of course it's gonna be empty for um wait. Server ops leader adder string. 
like I said, I, I just come up with, with these things and I'm just implementing them. And, I'm, and then I'm going to see if they make sense or not. Sometimes that, that's how I work, right? I, I see a lot of people are thinking and, and going to the whiteboard and drawing and drawing and drawing. And I don't do that. I just come up with something in my head. I just dump it on my, on my thing. And then I'm going to see, ah, shit, it does not make any sense or it makes sense or something in between. I think people are generally skeptical of quant trading stuff because it's usually being taught by someone with a course to sell. Uh, yeah, that's true. I think people are so skeptical. Like, I'm the most skeptical person on the whole fucking world. It's crazy. I'm even so skeptical that I am so afraid to sell something myself. Can you imagine? Because I know that people are probably going to be skeptical. But that's not true because there are always people you're going to debate into something. But I don't want to debate, right? Uh, I don't want to debate. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Like I said, the quant trading stuff I'm teaching is not basically, it's really in-depth stuff. And most of the people will basically skip because they think, oh shit, actually, there is more into play than just a simple thing. But I, ha I have this quant trading stuff on my YouTube channel videos. And the first thing I do is teach people how market, uh, how market makers work. But before I can explain how market makers work, I need to show you with some code, of course, because some people are coming to quant trading and then, oh, this guy is coding. I have no clue what he's doing. I'm out of here. Yeah, of course. What, what do you think, quant trading? What do you think is going to happen? What, what, do, what do you think? You're going to, you're going to, uh, of course, it's coding, right? You create your algorithm. That's what I teach you. But before I need to teach about the order books, how, how, uh, how these orders are getting made and, and how the price is getting determined and what's the spread. And, and we just go that stuff and, and we, we placing orders to see how it all behaves very simply. And then we gradually um, make, it, make it difficult. This stuff is not being found on the fucking internet. It's so sad. It's not being found and, and still it has two, 300 views or something. So I stopped doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, because people will always be people and they looking for quick shortcuts to get money. And uh, by the end of the day, they're going to lose everything. But I don't care because I did my best. I do, I, I do my best so much on this channel to keep it pure, authentic, no scripts. Right? Because all these other YouTube's channels are people and they, they come to a stream, right? And then they, uh, they're going to make something like uh, build 10 they're gonna build a project, right? And all these people sitting there. And then they then they are just basically copy pasting uh, from from code they already been written. And it all works perfectly fine. And and they can build a complete Netflix clone in three hours because it's already been made by them and they just copy paste it. Uh, a lot of these YouTubers have mm, 100,000, 200,000 of, of viewers. The problem is these guys are basically completely dog shit. Um, and of course, the people watching it, they see that, oh, he's building this Netflix stuff and they are just copy-pasting him also, right? But he's not making any mistakes because everything has already been done. And then you're sitting there at your computer, right? And he's offline, right? And you're re-watching the stream and there are no errors on, on his side, right? Because it, it, it seems that everything is just working perfectly fine. But then you are doing that. What happens? There is an error for some reason. And you're choking. You are choking. Oh! <gasps> You know what to do. You're trying to find this in his videos, but there is nothing in his videos because there are no arrows in his videos. You know what I mean? He gives you a false perception of programming, a complete false perception. And YouTube is full of that. YouTube is full of that bullshit. And I refuse. I refuse to surrender. I'm coding like it should be. I'm coding like I'm coding for any kind of project. Non scripted. I, I, if I make mistakes, I don't care. If my code is dirty, I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't care. People coming here criticizing it, I don't care. I make six figures. You not. You know what I mean? You still, you still, you still are far away from that. You know? Because why? Because I'm just building stuff. I know how to build stuff. How to make six? How to make stuff work? How to come up with solutions? You know? And that's what I want to teach on my channel. I want to motivate you guys. Uh, team name, Groovebox. Man, I would love to learn quant. Like I said, I have a lot of I have a lot of stuff on YouTube already. I have a lot of stuff on YouTube already.
Yeah, that's the problem. Also, I have this stream like a couple days ago. I did this stream about... Um, what, what was it? The stream of the, the e-commerce stuff, right? And of course, I think I was two hours. Two hours. And, and there, there, there is not much thing in two hours. You know what I mean? Of course, we're not building because we're using Golang and we do everything ourselves, but it's not scripted. If I could, if I could script this and I have a code on my second monitor, of course we can do, we, we can basically build that whole thing maybe in two, three hours and call it a day. And my channel would be, I would have so much more subscribers and so much more viewers, but I don't do that. It's, it's so bad. It's so fucking bad. Are that bad people? Of course not, right? These guys are, are also trying to make a bang, right? These, try, these guys are also trying to make a name for themselves. I understand, right? I understand what you're doing. And I actually, uh, they play the game much better than me, right? They play the games, the YouTube game so much better than me. All right, the same thing as like the Prime Agent. I think he's somewhat in between. But he understands what games he needs to play, right? I like him. I think he's one of the only tech creators I really like. Just because he reminds me of Dr. Disrespect. Well, no, just because he has an own personality and he's actually really good, right? This guy is, is really good. Um, and I like it. I like his personality. And uh, I like it. But he's playing the game very well, right? He's playing the game very good. He's, he's trying to find his topics that are not too simple. He's playing the game good. It's, it is what it is. He's playing the game good. There is no, there is no, no, no comment about him about the prime agent. He's playing the game like it should be played, and um, I bow for this guy. Yeah, Tom, I like the prime. He's very good. I think he's a decent guy as well. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, like I said, the only reason is, is just he has. I don't know. He is like for me. If I watch somebody on YouTube and I really subscribe to somebody or I watch a lot of videos, then this guy needs to have, it, it needs to have a personality. I think it's very important. And not some kind of a channel that just makes content and copies and, and try to jump, hop on the trends and try to copy people. And then they are so fucking boring, man. Oh man, they are so boring. What the fuck? Why are you even YouTubing, man? Uh, but you need to have a personality. The same with streamers like Dr. Disrespect, I, li I like him, right? And not because he has a, a very good personality. Like George Hotz, for example, the same thing, yes. A very outspoken personality. Jonathan Blow, the same thing. Very outspoken, authentic person. Um, yeah. All right. What are we doing here? We are wasting time. We probably need to do a, a second trend for this, to be honest. Let me quickly test this. Uh, shit, can I do... Fuck. Okay, this is working. probably cannot do this right I probably cannot do this right it's probably not gonna work it's not gonna work damn it <sighs> oh wait I can a Wait, wait, actually, yeah, yeah let's, let's do it like that. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be GG Cash. Um, listen, Adler. 4,000. Right, I'm going to quickly do this. We'll uh, try this. Make. Let, let's clear first. Let's clear first. Make full. Make run full lower. Okay, 4,000. That's 
And then we're gonna, yeah, of course we need to say min min, leaders, adders. It's gonna be 4, 000, uh, 3 thousand actually, like just like that, boom. Make. Oh, I need to pee so hard, once again. Escape the colon or code it. Yeah, no, it's it's be it's because it's the make file thing. Collection refused. His Vim series is very helpful. Uh, Rohan Verma, that's true. The primogen, his Vim series is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like I said. I like it. I like it. Um, <laughs> oh man, let's go. All right, that doesn't matter. Um, the leader is yada yada. So what we're gonna do? Uh, oh man, we have actually a lot of work to do for this. Uh, let's open up server this other time. Uh, this other uh, window here. So basically, um, I want to have followers. Uh, it should call this connections or something, but I'm going to call this followers, which is going to be a map of uh, actually. Uh, it's going to be netcom. And I'm going to call this an empty struct inside of this thing, right? So we're going to make followers actually, to be honest. Actually, I'm going to make it anyway. We don't need to do that if we're the leader, right? But hey, just to make it simple. Fuck this shit. Uh, make map net com uh, an empty struct because you will see why I'm doing this. Uh, an empty struct doesn't take any space. An empty struct is just easier. Uh, like uh, having a map is just easier to delete connections and all that stuff than a simple uh, than a, than a slide and all that shenanigans. The dude over entertains in the stream, and that's hey Rohan, listen, that's the mistake I'm I'm making a lot also and still doing, especially after one hour and a half. I'm trying to over entertain too much, and over entertain is maybe a big word. I'm trying to. Focus myself more on my on the chat, and trying to to be, for some reason I like to hear myself talk. I don't know what, why it is, but I'm, I'm talking and talking and doing some stories, and getting distracted from coding. And I'm not quite sure how, what I need to do with that. Uh, until today, nobody actually has spo um, has basically criticized that. And I I don't know real I actually don't know what what I need to do. Right? Do I need to be more focused on coding, and leave the chat for what it is? Or focus more on the chat, or do a balance. And and most of the time, I take the last 15 minutes to basically completely focus on the chat or something. I don't know. Still not know what the best thing is. <coughs> yeah, like I said, the way the reason why I stream because, like I said before, a video making a video is so much more efficient for me. More efficient in time, more efficient in viewers, more efficient in subscribers. But a stream? I, I think a stream hits different for people watching it. And also gives the people and myself the ability to communicate with the community, to communicate with me directly and I to communicate with the community directly. I think it's very important, right? Building a community. Yeah, I then look over every now and then, I know. I'm trying to do that, man. And, and like I said, I'm getting so sometimes so tired uh, real quick. Uh, at least, especially at the end of the streams, right? It's it's very exhausting, guys. It's very, very exhausting. It's now two hours and I can feel that my my concentration, my focus on the code is, is basically slinking away. Because it's so exhausting. People underestimate that. Also for gamers, like all these, these gaming streamers, streaming for eight hours and all that stuff, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. That's, I can, hey, this is, that's no joke, man. That's no joke. What's going on with this fucking mic? All right.
right, okay, come. Cool. I, I wanna, I wanna try at least try something. At least try something real quick here. So followers, and then I'm gonna dip it and heat my steak. 300 grams of pure proteins with some rice and an onion. And that's it for all these muscles. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, focus, focus real quick. So we have followers. Normally I would call this something else like cons or something, but for the sake of... So followers, we have this map built. Actually, we should build this... Um, Maybe we should only allocate this, only allocate, allocate this when we uh, are the leader or something, right? Damn, we need a join command. But what you could do here is, um, send to followers, what you could do is for underscore, actually for com uh, in range as followers and to be honest that should be that should that should be a uh, mutex protected but hey that should be mutex protected but it is what it is but it's con right yes yeah, fine so what we're gonna do is damn we need to have sent this message right so we're gonna do something like if r is going to be con we're gonna write this actually we can't uh, n r con write we're gonna write msg you're gonna say two bytes or something. Uh, if R. Fi. If R. What's going on? If R is not nil, we're gonna return the error. To be honest, that's bad because. Now we're gonna basically just return the whole shebang. We can't. We're gonna continue here. Stop. This error is so useless, but it is what it is. Maybe we're gonna print this uh, with a lock. Uh, lock print Alan. Um, come right. <sighs> I don't. I, I have no f uh, focus anymore to find a good log line. Actually, gonna do FMT. Right, like this, uh, right to followers error. Boom, bats. Just like that. Let me continue because otherwise, uh, if somebody has failed, and we do, we need this context and all that stuff. Ay 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 ay. That's for later on. Um, that's for later on. So this N actually we don't care about this N to be honest. Um, what we also could do is instead of we do go send to followers, we could also do not a uh, no go routine. And do the go routine inside of here. So we basically spin up a go routine for both of them. And then we can actually... Then doesn't matter the errors. Doesn't matter. Both options. Doesn't really matter. Message two bytes. That's what matters, right? Comment. Uh, two bytes. Um, M. It's gonna be a pointer. Two bytes. A slice of bytes, actually. <laughs> you see, my typing and everything is so fucked up now. Um, okay, so two bytes. What are you gonna do? We're gonna say MT print s s print f, and it's gonna be um, percentage s percentage s percentage. Fuck me. It's not true. It depends. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, switch M commands. Uh, I'm gonna return here, this one, boom. We can't. Ay, ay, ay. Look at me struggle. So we're gonna do something like this. Uh, case CMD. So case is gonna be CMD set. Let's do a set first, right? CMD set. 
Um, we're gonna say it's gonna be S S S S S S. And a new line, maybe. Do we need a new line? That's a question. I don't think so. Fuck it. Comment. M comment. M key. Wait, that's... Yeah. M. I'm a, I'm a little bit confused about the formatting here. But I think it's going to be fine. If it's a default, um, I'm going to panic. Unknown. Command. We should lock the command, I know. But it is what it is. They should have a panic F, man. That would be so amazing. Right? Instead of these wrapping errors. Right? Wrapping errors? Nobody cares about wrapping errors. Give us a panic F. Give us a fucking panic F. That's what we need. That's what Golang needs. A panic F. That I would be so happy. I swear, genetics? I don't care. Panic F. That's what I need. What do you... For consensus, by the way, cash notes, raft... Or yeah, um, good question. I think for consensus, for the leader and all that stuff, I don't know. Some raft or something. But I'm not quite sure if I really, really want to implement this. Um, let's let's try a set. Actually, let's do a get real quick also. It's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to actually copy this. Boom, paste it in. I'm going to say CMD get. And that's going to be... Get this one. Right? Two things. CMD and then the key. That's everything we need. And then return. So actually, to be honest, what we could do... We could do CMD and then return at the end. It doesn't matter. Let's do it like that. What's your uh, PR on the bench press? 105 kilo. Uh, 105 is double plates. Double plates and then two um, yellow ones. Small ones. 105. I think I can do 110 as a one rep max maybe. But I never do a one rep max, right? I always try to do three reps at least. Uh, my bench, although I have big chest, I have big packs. I can swear to God my, my, my pack genetics are on fucking point. But... Um, If you if you if you see my packs on a picture, then you would you would say that I'm most of the time gonna bench more than I actually do. Uh, but I, I'm not really chasing the PRs that much, right? So 105, and it's already a long kilograms, and it's already um, a long time that I do that. Most of the time, I'm benching for volume, six uh, to eight reps. That's for me already low. I'm trying to to go for 12 reps, 10 reps. And if I go for six or seven or eight reps, I try to do 90 kilo or something. But most of the time I just use 80, 80 kilo, 80, and um, wrap that out for 12 or 10 or something. Uh, defer close and defer from close. A good question. Um, I don't think there's any difference to be honest. For some reason, for some where is this deferred thing? It's somewhere, right? Uh, for some reason, I cannot give you an answer for that. But sometimes there is a reason why you're using the uh, why you're wrapping that in a function, and I cannot give you an answer for that. Maybe f somebody from chat can give you a correct answer on that. Um, because I, I then I need to look it up exactly why it is. Otherwise, I'm just gonna tell you things that are not true, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so we have this right wait is this working two bytes probably it is right um, the, the last thing we need to do is connect this bullshit actually to be honest we don't we, we don't need a join command we can actually join we can actually join ourselves. So we're accepting here, right? Is 
nice leader probably. Uh, come, Ash. Map, dial, TCP. So what I'm thinking uh, real quick for a, for a simple solution is uh, we have a leader. Of course, normally the leader would be determined by a consensus algorithm, by, by right or something. So um, we have a high availability cluster um, where if the leader basically goes down, uh, the rest of the nodes can basically uh, come up with a new leader, right? And um, But for now, we're going to just hardcore the leader and then we're going to basically say for each follower, we're going to correctly connect directly to the leader. So it's not really a clip. It's not. It's a very basic implementation, right? But of course, you can have some kind of a, of a real cluster where everybody's connected together, and then they can exchange some consensus and all that stuff. But that, if you, uh, we have, I already have that kind of stuff. If you want to learn about that, these things, then you need to go to or the blockchain series or uh, the Patreon that I'm doing uh, that stuff. Service discovery and P discovery and all that shenanigans. If you want to define a var, such a, yeah, but I think sometimes you can, oh, this function here, yeah, sometimes, I think this is perfectly fine, right, you could do defer, actually, I'm making things complex and it doesn't need to be, but sometimes, I don't know why, it doesn't matter, it's perfectly fine. Uh, net dial. So we're gonna dial to S a leader adder, right? Ay ay ay. Leader adder, just like that. And then if there is an error. And now it's really, really nasty. Um, now it's getting really nasty, the code. I'm, I'm gonna lock fatal out. I don't care. I'm gonna lock fatal. Uh, this error. Right, and we have this connection. And we're gonna say S uh, followers. Shit! This is so bad. This is so bad. Don't do this at home. This is so fucking bad. This is rigid bad. And it's gonna be the leader connection. And then we're gonna loop here. Oh my goodness. Wait. I'm gonna die the leader. Why do we have this connection then? Actually, we can do handle com. To be honest. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We need to have this connection because this connection, this connect. Actually, that's why we need two listeners. I think uh, this connection is for uh, clients connecting, right? Um, could be that somebody... This is so bad. It can be here. Handle connection. This is so fucking bad. And I cannot even think anymore now, to be honest. Let me see what this handle con is doing, to be honest. Uh, I'm just doing... Yes, yeah, fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So basically what we are saying here, if, if we are not a leader, we're gonna we're gonna dial the leader and then we're gonna open up that connection with the leader so we can receive yeah, I think it's 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 actually not too bad if we think about that. Right? It's not too bad. And we don't need to go go here because we can block here. We can block perfectly fine. Um uh, wait, what's going on here with handle connection? Uh yeah, this loop. We can block there for forever. Uh that's perfectly fine. Uh, this go routine will not leak. It will uh, basically, if, there's, if, if the connection is closed or something, then uh, it will clean up. I promise. Panic FMT Sprint F. Yeah, true. Uh, I'll also be, but let us be honest. If you could have a Panic F, that would be amazing. right? And actually, to be honest, I didn't know that uh, until a couple months ago. You could do print. You could do print LN even. You could do print LN here. Isn't that amazing? Without FMT. That's so sick. Can we do print? You can even do print and everything. Can I do print F? No, we can't, right? 
A propagator. What's that? A propagation. It's probably from some other junk. Anyway. Um, what I'm gonna do here real quick is we're gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna log out that we are connected. FMT, print a LAN. Uh, connected with leader. Right, we don't care. Maybe leader adder. Right. Uh, leader adder here. Right. Boom. Shit, it's gonna be so difficult. So first of all, let's let's boot up the leader itself. Wait, are we set up on the leader? That's a question. Uh, shit. Um, that's main. I think so. Leader just need to be. If we're connected. David Alvarez, thanks for the CLP 10,000, not quite sure, but thanks, uh, thanks a lot, much appreciate this man, thanks for your amazing content, best channel 2023, David Alvarez, thanks my man, and I still need to figure out where all that pieces of money are going in YouTube because I have no clue, uh, I think I still need to do some uh, AdSense validation or something, But thank you so much. Damn. So basically, this leader, what's happening if you're connecting? That's working perfectly fine. I think we can boot up the leader. And uh, let me do this plusha here. Plusha. In, 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 my, in Dutch, it's plusha. But it's a plus. So it's the same. Plusha, plus. It's the same thing. Um, I'm going to say here, I'm going to make run. You see, that's perfectly fine. That's a leader at 3,000. Set food to bar. That's our shenanigans. Damn. It doesn't matter, right? So let's do this. That's basically these uh, pre-scripted shenanigans we did. Then we're going to go here. We're going to say make run follower. Something like that. Boom. We're not connected, right? Bar. Why do we get bar? Yeah, I know why we get bar. Wait, something is going on. Couldn't read error. EF, yeah, okay, fine. That's good. Somebody is, is actually telling me something. First of all, what we're going to do is this uh, main thingy. Is this one, right? We don't care about this, right? <coughs> we don't care about that. Couldn't uh, read error. I got a run. Great channel. Thanks, man. Hey, Jack. Thanks for uh, dropping by. Have a nice Saturday evening. Have a nice Saturday evening, man. Enjoy the weekend. Um, Couldn't read errors. Wait. So wait. Let me let me make this one. This one is gonna be it's gonna be make run, right? It's gonna be restarting at this point. Perfectly fine. Then we're gonna say make uh, run followers. Run uh, followers. Boom. Right. We don't see anything here, but on the other side, we don't see anything there, okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So, of course, nothing will happen, right? But what I, first first of all, first things first. It's so annoying that I need to use my mouse for these things. Um, have you considered the effects of garbage collector because performance mattering caches? Uh, Rohan, no, not yet. Uh, no. Uh, I think that if you, yeah... I think optimizing that stuff for garbage collector is something you need to do, but um, I think you need to first make it work and then you can see where, with some benchmarks, um, you can see and uh, maybe some profiling. So you can actually spot where you put a lot of load on the garbage collector most of the time, maybe when you need to create keys or something. Or, But I think it's going to be fine because we use a string key instead of a, an, an own key, an own representation of a key, and we use a string representation, and I think it's pretty fine. Um, but if you use something yourself, then you could put a lot of stress on the garbage collector. But hey, like I said, um, that's something measure. That's something you need to measure. Um, and I think it's a very bad, it depends, right? Uh, you could say it's a very bad practice to already keep performance in mind, but... Um, I think it depends. It's not that this is so big that it's very hard to come back later on to make improvements. 
it's pretty obvious here where we gonna where we could make more improvements, right? And what parts of the of the of the code. So what's going on here? So first of all, um, I'm thinking where are we? We are dialing in the client. It's gonna be server. Let me open up. Yeah, okay, cool. I see what's going on. We are basically, um, it's leader thing is a problem, right? So what we're going to do. So we're going to say if the leader is going to be basically a len of leader adder. It's going to be bigger than zero. But if there is a leader adder, we know, no. The leader adder is zero. If the leader adder is zero, we are the leader. Uh, why can I not press this? Yeah, okay, fine. So, right, so we are no leader here, and then we are leader here. I just want to see that we're connected. That's the first thing we need to do. Connected with the leader, that's fine. Do we see something here? We don't. What I want to see real quick in uh, server here, if, that, if there is a connection open. Um, that's what I want to know real quick. Handle com, uh, here, 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 444. Uh, what you could do is FMT print LN. Uh, connection mate or something. I don't know, man. It doesn't really matter. Right? Uh, what you could do is do this and do a com remote adder. Something like that. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, make here. Boom. Good. And then here we close that. Make followers. Followers, run followers, right? Follower, please follow. Word, I'm so I'm so fried. Dial TPCP connection refused. We have a problem here. Panic probably. No. Okay, that was the problem, and I'm I'm gonna use this uh, thing here real quick. Okay, so connected with leader, connection mate, yeah, 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 that's fine. And then connection mate, yes, okay, cool. So we are connected. So problem is, now we need to send, um, <coughs> let me open up. Let me open up another terminal here, boom. And I'm gonna use the same code real quick. Um, here, I'm gonna basically return here, right? Damn, and I basically deleted all that code that I actually needed. God damn it, so we're gonna do it like this uh, real quick. It's gonna be net dial. Um, TCP. So basically, yeah, we also need to have some kind of a proxy or something. Maybe we can do it on the leader. That where um, if you if you query the leader, the leader can can proxy that out to the followers. So writing is only going to be the leader, and the leader will distribute that key to the followers. But reading is only going to be to the followers where the leader knows because you're gonna query the leader. Where the leader is gonna know which follower is out of sync or not because we have an, ish, an error, uh, we have an error or a uh, context context cancellation or something. That's what I was talking in the beginning of the stream. So that's what that, that, these are these are sitting in my head, um, but I probably we not have uh, we don't have we do not have gonna have it, this sentence doesn't make any sense. Not enough time to do that. I cannot even talk anymore. Can you imagine? Can you imagine doing an eight hour stream? I can't. What is the point of creating an alias like command string? Why do you use? Uh, because then you can just um, rename your command, but keep the string. Or rename the string, but keep the command. So does it make sense? I don't know. Maybe. Um, I'm gonna dial to this leaders, right? If R is not gonna be nil log fatal R, then we're gonna just come write uh, a byte. Man, I'm lagging so hard right now. And we're gonna say uh, set, right? We're gonna say set foo to bar, right? And let's make it foo bar. TTL long enough, right? That's what we're gonna do. Actually, let's do this uh, underscore. We don't care about this one. We're gonna say the error here, and actually, this is gonna be this. And then we're gonna copy. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna say go run main. Can we do that? 
Yeah, we can. We can't. Doesn't matter. Fuck. Are we doing something? Okay, cool. So we set the food to bar, but we have a reader over here. Uh, set food to bar. Uh, Couldn't read errors. Where, where is this? Oh, damn it, I now I have this. You're doing so nasty things, man. Um, I'm oh, reading here, that's a problem. Music is gone once again. Man, we, we did two times this playlist already. It's gonna be the third, the third iteration. Man, I'm so frightened. I, I don't know what's going on here, real quick. Um, so basically, we have this read error, probably. Wait, let me first do. Uh, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna say uh, forwarding. I'm gonna say forwarding. Uh, forwarding, forwarding. To followers, I don't care, man. Uh, followers, I'm gonna do this right. So, in this main thingy, okay, that's fine. So, I'm gonna make run here, right? Then, yeah, of course, no, no, this is fine. Wait, right, this is fine. Then, the second one, stop it. This is gonna be the client, this is gonna be the follower, right? Make run follower. We need to remember that. That the second terminal is a follower. Run follower. Right? So now he's just connected with the leader. It's all perfectly fine. This guy, connection made. That's with the follower. All perfectly fine. Then we're gonna um, basically back this, comment this, uncomment that. So we can uh, dial to our leader and send... Ah, wait. It's gonna be this one. It's gonna be a problem. It's gonna try to... Is that true? Set full bud, yeah. Okay. But the problem is... Connection mate, why is that? It's not to followers. Why is this not happening? As followers. Are we actually setting that thing? We don't set that thing! That's why we need a fucking... That's why we need a join command. I, I already thought that. We need a join command. Because we need to basically put a connection into our follower map. Uh, I'm sw I, the problem is if we don't do a join command, I we just um, put every connection into our follower command and could be that some client, right? Some, some, just a, uh, some, some client that's using a library trying to use our stuff. Um, 
that doesn't, as a follower, that just want to set keys and get keys, is going to be uh, in, the, in, in that connection pool and also getting, getting that stuff. Um, but wait, let, to make the stream complete... If it's not the leader, we're gonna dial here. On the other side, this is gonna be a handle connection, right? We need a join command for sure. Uh, I swear to God. Um, but it is what it is. So what we're gonna do here is, is just call it a day. We're gonna say here, as damn. Um, if, oh, this is, so, I, 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 this is so nasty. Don't do this at home. This is basically just to, to, to make it work. Very, very dirty. If, If it's the leader, real quick here. This is so nasty. I'm gonna say as uh, followers connection is gonna be an empty struct, right? Just like that. Uh, and call it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so bad. Um, I'm gonna close everything here. Oh, this is so annoying. And this is also basically blocking, it doesn't matter. Uh, so now we're going to main. We're going to comment this back out because we need to build this, pro uh, this this thing, right? So we're going to open up the first one. And if, if somebody can give me keybinds to switch, it's going to be nice. We're going to say make. A run, right? No. No. Now I need to clear. Make a run. Leader is booted up. Boom. Then we're going to say follower. Make a run. Follower. Boom. He's booted up. It's all fine. Then we need to go back to our main. Comment this bullshit out because we're so lazy. To make it actually decent. Um, and then we're going to say make run. Just to run this thing. Boom. So. Receive command and valid. Yeah, of course. No. Yes. No, yes, no. It doesn't matter. But we are forwarding the key to the follower. That's true. So this guy. Failed to pass command. Set TTL. It's working. It's working. But. Hey, you have GG Cash in import. Is it okay name? What the hell is going on? Um, that's because it's probably my mod. My Go mod file. Look at this. Yes, it is. It's my mod file. Can I do this and then run Go mod? No, I'm, I'm not going to touch it. I swear to God. I'm, we're going to be in so much trouble. Uh, it's me basically being so bad at typing that I made a mistake. Hey, but you, you're on point, um, Darius. Darius, stop. So, there's a problem with our two bytes. Yeah. So, we are printing only two... No, uh, it's always... Page up. Oh, control page up, page down. Uh, I don't have page up, page down. If I could have... Um, I need to rebind that. Thanks, uh, I will do that. Wait, so we have an invalid set command. No. Invalid set TTL. Oh. Why is that? Received command and valid, but why? So we received the set command, we set it, and then we forward that to a follower. Of course, we have two followers because uh, we don't have two followers. We have one follower, but the other one is basically because we're, we 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 the, because we scooped it up, and we know that that's fine. But we received the command and valid. Who received that? Probably this guy. So what we're gonna do? And able to debug this better is we're gonna say in forward, send to followers here. We're gonna say MSG to byte. So we're gonna say that uh, MSG you're gonna send. No, the raw uh, raw MSG is going to be MSG two bytes here, right? We're gonna say raw MSG. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're gonna FMT print LM. Actually copy this one because I'm so lazy. You're gonna say uh, forwarding MSG raw raw MSG to the follower, and it's gonna be this MSG. This stop raw MSG raw MSG right. We're gonna delete everything and we're gonna see what's going on. And if it's not working, guys, I'm gonna put it on GitHub. Uh, try to fix, make it. Uh, try to make it work. It's gonna be so easy. It's a small mistake to get this uh, basic stuff going up. So I'll make make a siege. Wait. Main. Boom. But comment this out real quick. Hop. Hips. Hop. Make. Boom. Fine. What's going on? Make run. By the way. Hop. Then this guy is gonna be make follower, and I'm gonna uh, use a hot uh, helpline. Helpline. This is fine. So then, oh man, this is so annoying. You see, sometimes you can do better from uh, good from the first time, then you don't, don't need to hassle like me. But it is what it is. I'm dirty. Make run. Boom. Buff. Right. So, oh my god, it's a fucking bite. Invalid set TTL. Okay, somebody's getting. I was so convinced that I basically was printing out a string in this thing. No, we didn't. Amazing. Um... God damn it! And now I'm basically fucked, right? No, we don't. We can't. We only need the server. Is that? Yeah. We only need this guy. Make run, and all the rest should be fine. No, we can't because it's refused. Aye, 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 aye. Last time I try. This is the last time to debug, and otherwise I'm gonna call it a day. Okay. Uh, That's for the next, for the next, for the next round, episode, stream, whatever. <sighs> no, make run. I just want to see what he's sending. What he's sending, eh? What the hell's going on? Shit, I return here. <laughs> Alright, and then we're gonna make run this guy. Boom, chat. And then we're gonna see what's going on here. Shit! Ah, that's so annoying! Guys, don't do this, man. Please, make your shit in order from the first time. Alright, cool. Boom. And then we're gonna see... 40 US. That's the problem. It's 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 making a string out of a duration. I knew I need to... So, it's here. It's here in uh, this thing. In uh, bytes. Where is bytes? Here. This duration is a problem. Can we make it a string? Can we make a duration a string? Somebody knows that. Uh, I'm going to say fuck you. You know, you know what I'm going to do? Ah, oh, wait, it's probably gonna... We should we should do a D. Is that true? We should do a D. No? Last try. No, it's not the last try. It's gonna be... The second last try. Because the last try, I'm gonna hardcode a TTL of fucking zero. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna call it a day. And then I'm gonna eat my steak of 300 grams of... Pure, pure proteins goodness. That's what I'm gonna do. And smoke a cigar. Right? And see if my kids are still alive upstairs. Not quite sure. I can smell dead bodies. That's not true. It's probably myself. Um, I need to be very careful so I don't get banned. These days, right? Alright, so we're gonna make run this guy. Then we're gonna make run... Uh... Followers, this guy. I'm getting confused. Like this. All good. All good. We are at point. Then we cannot forget that we need to do this. This is basically... Actually, we could make a third program or something. Uh, and I'm going to make run this. Please. <laughs> Alright. We do this. And then... Set food to bar. Distributed. <laughs> Man, what a, what a struggle. Received command set, right? So, I'll do... Right, okay, cool. That's the beginning, right? Now we're gonna try this with more... Uh, with, with, with more of these guys. Then we're gonna 
I'm gonna check our context deadline to see if, if it takes too long. Maybe maybe a guy is, I don't know, he's passing out and we have a, a context cancellation or we have an error. Now we're gonna flag that follower. Um, so if somebody's wanna read, we're gonna, we're gonna load balance and all that stuff and we're gonna check if the follower is flagged for desynchronization and all that shenanigans. And then the only thing is what we basically not gonna do is what's very important is determine the leader uh, not in a hard-coded way, but in a consensus way. But hey, maybe not. Maybe if there's enough people want to see this, then I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to do it. But we did it. It's amazing. It's actually cool, right? So you need to see we built this from, this, from the ground up, right? Uh, is it the best code possible? I don't think so right now. This is... There's some, some complete garbage going on. But it doesn't matter because we know what's garbage. We know what we need to change, but it's working. It's fine, right? Who is building this, right? That's the thing. Who is building this? Most of the time, you never built this. Um, but now you have something. You have a basis. And now you can make things better, right? And build upon. Uh, and you have a good understanding on what's going on if you do this, right? Because, yeah. So you see that building projects take some time. It takes some hassle, even for me. You see, like I just want to do this. That's why I'm not scripting this, and I'm making the same dirty. I'm making the same dirty decisions as you are. I'm making the same stupid mistakes as you are. It's all of the learning process, right? I'm not afraid to show this, right? This is this is pure programming, right? That's why some some of the people, some of the new guys, basically see all these gurus online and the oh, they are so good and they are making all this stuff and it's working perfectly fine. I don't have errors. <laughs> I must be trash and they're getting depressed and they're getting uh, self-confidence problems, they're getting self-esteem problems, they're getting... Um... But it's not true. Everybody makes the same mistake, my man. Uh, does it matter which keyboard language you use if you solve problems? Uh, nope. It doesn't matter. You can use anything. You can even use a touch screen if you want. Only 61% keyboard thing. Yeah, I have a 60% keyboard. So it's so annoying sometimes. It's good. It's good for me. But if I need to use, like if somebody said, use page, uh, page up, page down, use your arrow key, then I don't have that. Uh, so I need to rebind this to JKLH with, um, with, uh, with something. Damn, I think my bladder is going to explode any moment. Are there any questions? Happy to give it five more minutes. Damn, so many... So many fucking subscribers, man, suddenly. It's crazy. So, what was the stream today? We had around 45 concurrent viewers most of the time. That's good, right? $11 chat revenue. That's also very good. And I still need to figure out where the fucking money is. Thousand and thousand forty views. That's actually good. How many likes? 68 already. This was a good stream. Not gonna lie. What a good stream. Oh. <coughs> David Alvarez, thanks man. Thank you so much for the donation. I think it was you. I'm pretty sure it was you, by the way. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna get at... I'm gonna call get uh, commit. I'm gonna say WHM. No, WHM. Uh, dash HM. I'm gonna say... Initial commit. The most garbage commit message ever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Can you... Can you do more interview questions? Uh, related to go developer work? Sure, I can, man. Um, like I said, I will do that. If you let, let, let me know in the comments. Jump into my Discord uh, if you want to see something. I have a suggestion. Dump everything what you want to see in there and I will pick... Um, I will pick all of them. But of course I cannot. I will pick all of them. I will I will make videos about all of them. Go to my Discord and you will see how many times somebody asked me something to do and the next day there was already a video. Happens. It happened it, it happened a lot of times. Uh Josue Kuka. 
Um, good stream. Too bad I joined late. Greetings from Van City. It's still LVM here. I rewatch it later on. Amen. Eddie, great stream. Uh, one idea for future streams that popped up just now. What about you opening a well-established Go project and you dissect it, comment it, explain certain patterns? Yeah, good, good question. Good, good, good suggestion. I mean, uh, good suggestion. I get tired. All right. Uh, like I said, just comment it. Jump into Discord. Talk to me on the Discord. I'm always uh, open for a chat. Um, and. Um, like I said, for me, it doesn't really matter what I do. I just want to make sure that I can bring things you want to see. That's important, right? I don't want to do things that you don't want to see. Um, but let me know. Maybe we can do some some uh, job interview assign assignment. If somebody has, if somebody has code, if somebody has a job assignment, uh, if somebody did a job assignment or something, uh, please just mail me send me something and I will um, review your code online or review somebody's code it do something with that code uh, solve the code I don't care what it is just do it I think it's good content um, thank you for another awesome stream hey guys filthy code and I like your I like your uh, your nickname Doak thanks for the stream thank you for being on the stream I'm gonna eat because I'm so fucking hungry I'm gonna see if my family is still alive and if I need to uh, do an intervention divine intervention like a paladin all right thanks for watching uh, and i see you have a nice weekend and i see you probably in the next video future live stream i ain't going fucking nowhere i see you soon